What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Mr. Warmack. You know who it is. You know, my phone, you know what I do. About to give you another one of my diatribes. And uh, today I want to talk about something different. I'm going to do this. What I'm going to do... When I see it's needed badly, I'm gonna make well, I'm gonna make a channel dedicated to black issues. Because yesterday was the what happened to me last night. This is uh the second of April, but it happened on April, April Fools of all things. What happened that night? I had to. Uh, really reassess a lot of stuff about the ways of thinking, uh, not my ways, about the overall thinking of the black man and woman. And what happened last night is I'm in a lot of Facebook groups and if you know my personal name, drop a line, you know, friends request, I accept everybody. And so I get, so being in the position that I'm in, and everybody probably knows this too, if you garnered some type of le level of people recognizing you, you'll get thrown in groups. Well, this group I I actually at, requested to join. It was it looked to me like it was a group designed to help black people. I was like, let me join, see what they're saying, and go in. Well, I've been in this group for the last three weeks, and I've just been watching, you know, usual rhetoric. So today. What happens? I saw a I saw I saw a post and it was uh it was like I guess why the majority of these posts in this group blame the white man. And then I started reading some of the answers. And lo and behold, like I and others are saying, they're using the same old tired excuse as slavery. They're using uh, what was that other one? They're using um, conditioning. They're using years of oppression. They're using what other uh, what other excuses? You guys probably know better than I do. Okay, so they're using these excuses, and I, I had to chuckle. I was getting mad. Because anybody, anybody was taking responsibility was called a sellout. So I had to chime in myself. And what happened was I said, the problem is, is the breakdown of the family in general. And then people were saying, well, what about racism, this, that, and that? And I, like I told them, I said, I never said racism never left. I, never, I don't deny that racism has an impact. But at the end of the proverbial day, you can't just cry and whine and sit there and not do anything about it. You can cry and whine, but if you're doing something, I can commend that. But if you're just sitting there and boo-hooing and feel sorry for me, I'm a black man, I'm a black woman, it ain't cutting it. And then I got met with the usual, you, you sound like you're a coon, you sound like you're this. And it's like I try to tell them, look, let me keep it real. Education is not looked upon as favorable in the black community nowadays. I said, you can, you can own a black-owned business, they want the hookup. I said, there's, I said, there's a lot of things in the black community that we need to take I said, everything, really, we need to take responsibility for. And then I heard, well, we can't get any the businesses this, set in the fifth. And like I tried to tell them, you cannot blame this on slavery because what was your excuse when every city in America that had a, that has sizable African American population, they all had black Wall Streets to some degree, and what they did is they kept that money in the community and spent that money in the community. But what happened was when you guys were all fell in love with your your liberal leaders and y'all took the bait, y'all took that money out that was centralized in your community and then made it centralized at government level. And if you were, and if you were, if you keep relying on the government, that's your fault. 
Now, some of us see that ploy and we don't do that. And then you get met with courses. Well, you're a sellout and America does this, America does that. And then I hit them with this. I said, well, you hate America. And I said, I'm setting them up. I said, you hate America. You don't like it. I said, Ghana was offering citizenship and free land. I said, I see too many you Negroes take, take the bait and go. I said, you wonder why you didn't go to Ghana? Because once some boys and girls over there start whipping out the machete and start looting your house, you'll be taking a one-way trip back to here through Qantas, which Qantas isn't operating anymore, by the way. Then I got mad with this one. Well, why? if you pay for the ticket, I'll go. Number one, I'm not the government. I'm not paying for your ticket. If you have such a, if, if I have such a disgust for America, trust me, I would have been saved up money by now. Even if I was on some type of public assistance, you get them EBT cards to take the money out. You could have, you could have had enough money by now, with your hatred, to save up for a trip. But you know what I come to understand? These so-called black revolutionary but pranksters. They don't want solutions. They want excuses. They want excuses to keep beating everybody down. Well, we're black. Just, just give up. And like I try to tell them, how can you say that? Is that what? what, what? So I should just say rob a bank because I'm black and you know just give up on life? The problem is, if you want more life in the black community nowadays, you're a sellout. You're an Illuminati. They don't want to hear. They don't want to hear the truth. They just don't. They want to hear guys like Sharpton and Jackson. You know, revel in their, their their buffoonery and tap dancing at them. And accountability, and that's what I preach, accountability is nil. No, I understand. No, I'm not stupid. I'm not blind to the fact that there's racism. But what are you doing? I mean, like, like I try to tell people. Not just in my videos. I help people in real life. And you know what I was met with? I was met with a course of, well, you have a say, well... I don't have a savior mentality. It's not being a savior mentality. It's the old proverb of reach one, teach one. And like I said, it's the breakdown of the family. I even, even, I even kick. Look, and here's, here's the bad part about it that a lot of you people know, may know. And I'm going to give you a scoop. A lot of people agree with what you say. They just don't like the delivery. And I'm like, and like I said, I can care less about the delivery. If somebody's kicking the fact of the matter, I don't care how you do it. Because this one lady, I presume that a lady, but she has some Af they had some African, Egyptian, you know, hieroglyphics, 36 letters of the alphabet name. You know how that goes. But she said, well, I understand your point. I can agree with your point. She goes, she didn't like my approach. And the approach I got told her was, there's only two sides for my and our thinking. And for me and the people, like, you're either with us or you're against us. And like J.T. Riley said, and I agree with this wholeheartedly, if, you are, if you're a fence rider you ride in the middle, we're smacking the fuck out of you on the other side. Because we don't want you. Because fence riders are known to hop sides whenever the time going gets rough. So, and that's my point. There's no, there's no negotiations. There's no compromise. It's either or. It's this or that. And that's what she didn't like about it. And I said, I said, I said, for too long we've been letting these Negroes run around, give these pretty speeches, and hype everybody up on the internet. Or you got the God complex Negroes. Oh, let God sort out. God will work its way. Well, look, God's not going to work its way if you're not willing to help yourself out. God's not some big, big spook in the sky giving out lottery tickets. At the end of the proverbial day, you have to step up and take charge of your own life. I'm tired of hearing, well, well, it's, 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 it's slavery. I mean, 450 years ago, it should not affect you today. I mean, come on now. And I know I'll get met with a chorus of booze, but that, but the fact is, you know what I'm saying is right. What is, is you don't want to look in the mirror. You don't want to look in the mirror and say education, how, you know, we have a high percent of dropouts. It's frowned upon getting education. How you 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 men and women are starting to name these kids some ridiculous ass names that are thirty six alphabets long for the first name, and then when they, when somebody they go to apply for a job, they throw these applications away because they don't want to deal with that dumb shit. So a lot of this is self inflicted, and you need to take responsibility. 
So I'm probably going to start up a black channel. I don't know when. Probably in the near future. Probably sooner than expected. So look out for it. And I'm out. Peace.